Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Tariq here from uh, smartbiketrainers.com. Uh, just as promised earlier this year in my Q&A video, I'll be talking more about cycling apps. And today is my first attempt to fulfill that promise. And it is till January. I'm not procrastinating as usual. Uh, and we're gonna start with a pretty cool app. And best of all, it is totally free. Uh, Maximum Trainer, uh, most likely this is the first time you hear about this app. It is totally free and you can use it to do structured workout. Very simple to use, but it is packed with features. You're gonna love this thing. Uh, the app is available natively to download on Mac or Windows, and you can download it from uh, MaximumTrainer.com. So Maximum Trainer is a free indoor cycling app that was created by a small uh, nonprofit group in Quebec, Canada. Uh, you can do structured training. You can customize uh, your own workout. You can work out with a friend and do all of that while listening to a radio station or watch your favorite show on Netflix or your favorite YouTube channel like this one. Uh, you can use it with a smart trainer or if you do not have a smart trainer, you can just use a dumb trainer uh, or a power meter or just train with a heart rate uh, monitor. So I downloaded the app and been playing with it for a bit. So let me walk you through the app and show you all the things you can do uh, what, and what you get with this uh, free app. All right, so once you download the app, you will need uh, to first set up and confirm your account. Uh, log in and you'll see the workout list. Uh, the first thing you want to do is set up your profile and the main thing you want to set is your FTP because once you start customizing your workout, everything is going to be based off of your FTP number. If you do not know your FTP number, you can just do one of the tests they offer and it will update your FTP value uh, once you complete that test. So before I walk you through the workout builder, which is pretty cool by the way, uh, let's quickly run through the menus. Let's start from the bottom. Uh, the ANT Plus menu, this is where you pair all your devices. Currently, it can only pair using ANT Plus, so you'll have to have an ANT Plus key. If you have a smart trainer, you can pair it uh, you, uh, under the FEC trainer. Uh, for power, you can select power from your trainer or power meter. Uh, this pairing menu is pretty intensive. Uh, it will save all the information from any device you paired in the past and you can enable or disable uh, any device uh, you want. Next is a studio option. This one I didn't really expect to see and I really didn't test it out that much. But if you've tested it, let me know how it worked for you. I would love to, hear, to uh, get your feedback. All right, so for example, if you have a spouse or a bunch of friends decided to show up uh, to work out with you in the garage, uh, you, just, uh, you can just add their information here and sensor data and uh, do the same workout. It allows you to assign each ANT Plus sensor to a specific user and save that data so next time you use it, you aren't using your spouse heart rate monitor instead of your own, for example. You'll see the data split on the screen once you start a workout. The data you see here is all from me, by the way, one from my Neo and one from my power meter. So I guess this is another way to use it. If you want to compare two different power meters, you can just use a study option and uh, track both power meters at the same time. Also, uh, the software has the ability to utilize uh, multiple USB NT keys to connect to numerous sensors if you want to go beyond the eight sensor limit uh, one ENT key uh, supports. Uh, pretty freaking cool. Under the plan menu, you will see any plan available or if you create a plan yourself, you will see it here. Now, let's move on uh, to the workout builder, which is really cool and got some advanced features. So to create a workout, just go to a workout, create new, and the workout builder will open. Let's give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test workout. Let's just leave the plan blank. The creator would be me. Uh, you can add a description if you want. So let's add a block and just go through uh, some of the options here. Under target power, uh, you have flat or progressive power. Flat is a flat power, you just set the power you want and uh, that will be the power for the full block. Uh, progressive is good if you want to start at a certain power and progressively increase that power. There is also an option for test interval. This option basically disable erg mode for you or for that block. There's also a power balance option which is wild because not too many paid apps offer this. Uh, not sure which power meters are supported but I tested it with my power to max and it worked and we'll see that in a minute. So let's do a warm up starting at 50% and progressively increase that to 60 percent 
Uh, next, let's create an interval at 90% of FTP and we will turn the power balance on just to see how it works. And I'm just going to finish the workout here. So I want to repeat this one minute interval along with the recovery uh, block. And to do that, just highlight the two sections you want to repeat and click on repeat. Now you can select from the drop down menu how many times you want to repeat these blocks. If you click on the repeat change area, you'll get an option menu to specify if you want to increase or decrease each repeat. So I'm just going to increase by 5% for each block. If you want to decrease each repeat, just put a minus sign in front of that number. So as you see here, each interval will increase by 5% and the third one should be at your FTP. Okay, so we have a workout now. Let's see how it works in the workout player. So now I have power to max selected as the power meter. My Taxneo Smart Trainer is selected as a controllable trainer and I have the ticker heart rate sensor paired. Uh, so as you see here, Netflix is displayed on top and you can browse to any other website if you want to. Uh, it's not limited to Netflix. Uh, and below that, you have the workout and all the data associated with, that wor with the workout. And once you start pedaling, if you have a Netflix movie selected, it will start playing that movie for you. But I'm just going to blur the Netflix movie out. Not sure how the copyright laws work here, but uh, and I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm just going to keep it blur. Uh, there is also a radio option. If you click on that little gear icon here, you will see all the options you have around the video player and radio. The button you see on top, the F6, F7, and F8 keys will control the music radio for you. Okay, so uh, once you start pedaling, you will start to see all the data here. On the left of the screen, you'll see workout time, interval, and target watts. The green area here is where you want to keep your target watts. If you go above that green, it will turn to red. Below green, it will turn to blue. My trainer was in erg mode when I was doing this and the software was controlling the resistance for me to keep me in the green area. In the middle of the screen, uh, you have the left and right power balance data. The torque effectiveness, there was no information there. Again, this all depends on the type of power meter you have and the data it sends. And to the right of the screen, you have the workout details, the MP, the intensity factor, TSS, calories, etc. Once you are done, it will just save your workout and upload it directly to your Strava or Training Peaks if you have them connected in the setting menu. I, it didn't display a message when I completed the workout, so it kind of just sat there and uh, you just have to close the window. I checked my training peaks uh, account and uh, the, my workout was there. It would be nice if it displayed some kind of a message uh, to tell me that the workout is completed or and it was uploaded or some kind of a prompt to just end the workout. Uh, all your workouts are saved as uh, .fit files in your workout library uh, folder which you can access from the top menu. So pretty cool stuff. So what do you guys think? I think Maximum Trainer did an amazing job with the software, very easy to use and just packed with feature and hope to see them continue to develop it. Last May they released an update and made it completely free, but you can send them a donation of what you think it's worth. Either way, give it a try if you want to get away from paying a monthly subscription and looking for a free option. And let me know your thoughts if you have been using it or if you have any comment or question, just let me know in the comment section below. And this is all I have today and you know the drill. Hit that like button if you like this video and remember subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.